Okay, uh, welcome back, and here we go. Um, to start off, I recorded an awful lot of footage over an hour and ten minutes, and even accelerated, sped up, this is going to take a while, so uh, about half an hour, I figure. So i got to really move. What you're looking at is pre-dawn sky. The uh, clock up in the upper left, uh, I forgot to start it, but uh, I fixed that later in the footage, so whatever. Uh, it is probably about 7-ish or something p.m., and uh, uh, the rest of the footage I time-compressed most of it to make it fit faster and reduce playtime. And uh, this is the part in the sky where the world is still full of a lot of gray light. And as you can see, we've got a nice pretty moon. By the way, the pops you hear there, that's my starlight listener. It picks up flashes of light and translates it to sound. Uh, that's the ticking of an airplane's flashers, their nav lights. All right, and now I've accelerated the video a lot because this was a lengthy segment and I want to do some intro for you. Uh, this is pre-dawn into basically what your eyes would see as full dark. The camera, oh, look at the upper right there. That's Orion fading off into the west. Uh, the camera can pick up a substantial bit more than your eyes can see. So as your eyes give up in the dark, this one's still picking up light and it will continue to do so until probably about, oh, probably past midnight. Notice the moon is now extremely bright. Look at those beautiful lens reflections and rays coming off of that. You can see some thin clouds moving through and a lot of objects in the sky. Uh, some are aircraft, you know, airliners and smaller planes. Uh, satellites, the occasional meteorite, and uh, you're looking at this sped up, oh my god, what did I do, like 200 times or something? I forget exactly. If you look at the counter up in the corner, the time, the clock, you can get some idea of how fast time is moving here. And plus you can see the drift of the stars. Lower is east, upper is west. Uh, to your right is south, and to your uh, left is north. And of course, everything, every celestial object rises and sets, and you can see that. Uh, what else to say? Coming up will be an interesting object. Too short for me to narrate in it, so I'll narrate now. I call these phantoms uh, strange objects that defy all logical sense with uh, movement. And I can only think that they might be birds or might be drones. See that? Drifting through. That is a phantom. And not even a good one. There's a much better one later. Now this one here, um, what did I note down for this? Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Just a bit after midnight. There it is. Just an aircraft. This is this is your first taste of how the camera can do. Notice it's after midnight, 1230 almost, and still a lot of light to the sky. It'll get darker yet. That's not a it's not an attribute of the camera at all. Um, aircraft slowly moving through. And I believe on this one, I can't hear it because I have the sound turned off, but you should be able to hear the pops of the starlight listener. Picks up light, even very faint light, and translates to sound. This is another typical aircraft, just moving along. Nothing else fascinating in there. Oh, I'm wrong. And a nice little meteorite 
uh, sprinkled in for the hell of it. Cherry on the cake, so to speak. That's a fairly typical meteorite. Um, most are faint, and some are shorter than that. Some are very aggressive, and I do have a couple of those in this footage yet to come. This is a weird one. All I can think is uh, that this was a fly or a moth or something. It got a little close. There it is. Another aircraft there to your left-hand side, moving through. Note the sky is getting noticeably darker. Bright meteorite. Very nice, right? That was a beauty. Uh, that was a plane moving through. Another meteorite. Nice meteorite there. This one was a very bright spot of light to one side. Now, we're in the pre-dawn hours here. This is when uh, the sun really starts to reflect off of satellites. It's the perfect timing if you're going to satellite spot. This is when the barrage happens. Another aircraft, 5.12 a.m., rolling along to your, uh, that would be southwest, the upper right corner there. In the upper left-hand corner there, which would be northwest, you can see a very faint object traveling along toward the northern sky. A slight angle. That's probably a polar orbiter. I would say a very faint spot of light, no flashing, you'll notice. It's just creeping along. Five eighteen a.m. to your upper right of your screen. Notice a bright flasher. Now this could be a plane, or it could be a sat. Some sats roll, and their brighter surfaces will reflect sunlight, and you'll see a flash. Could also be a high altitude plane. Without you know being on some kind of tracker or whatever, it would be really hard to tell. Even with a tracker, you would have to do some really deep study there. Uh, do a lot of homework to figure that one out. First off, in your lower right corner there, see very bright light, very slow. Again, probably a sap. There's a phantom streaking through, a strong one. Notice the size of that thing and the erratic course. That's bizarre. I'm thinking there are drone flights happening late at night. 
Uh, some drone hobbyists do this and some agencies do this. Out of sight is out of mind. Notice the plane cruising through to the lower part of the screen on the left hand side. That is making the pops on the starlight. Um, twin satellites, one moving toward the north, the other moving toward the south, probably both pol polar orbiters, excuse me, and off to the right, uh, upper right corner, which would be southwest, a plane moving through. I had this one sped up pretty fast, so uh, that's why the fast motion. And another pair of satellites moving through there to the uh, south southeast that would be and up top notice that faint speck of light moving through to the southwest and another one right behind it that was a beautiful demo of how busy the dawn can really get very impressive Uh, possibly space junk? I really don't know for sure. In the upper right, uh, plane moving through very quickly. Followed shortly by another plane, brighter. Now while that's happening, satellite streaking through toward the uh, southern sky. Out of the upper right corner, almost corner, another satellite moving down toward the east, toward the lower part of the screen. Down in the uh, lower right, by the way, you can see the bands of the Milky Way there. Isn't that pretty? A little bit of color to it, even. From the upper right corner, a brighter pulsing satellite, probably in a roll, reflecting in a rhythm. Upper right corner at 6.02, 6.02 and 30, faint satellite streaking through toward the middle of the screen and exiting out into the lower left corner. Meteor in the lower left corner, that was so fast, easy to miss. Six ten, almost 6.11 a.m. This is extra special. In the upper left Notice this very bright spot of light that magically appears, moving very slowly. This is in real time. I didn't have a need to accelerate it because it was a short event. Now as that one fades out, see up into the left of it, two very bright points of light. You can still see the first one very faintly, while the other two are moving through the path where that one got really bright. Now the lead one is very bright again, and the other two are in a fade out, and then finally the whole thing fades out. These are the NOS satellites, an old naval project. Some of them still work, some don't, and uh, they're occasionally mistaken for uh, triangle UFOs. 6.13 a.m. Look to your upper left. Notice a satellite moving through. This is about three times normal speed. In the up center, just right of upper center, faint satellite moving through. There. And behind it now, bright flashy one. Could be an airplane, could be a sat, but what's interesting about this is that it kind of just fades away. Notice this? Getting fainter, fainter, 
fainter. It's still tough to say, naturally, but a flashy that fades away is probably a tumbling satellite. An airplane should stay consistent. Okay, this is a busy one. To the left, upper, satellite streaking through toward the lower left. Up in the middle, a very faint satellite heading right through the upper part of the screen. This is highly accelerated almost 10 times per 10 times speed. Um, bright satellite moving through from the upper down to the lower left of center. And now absolutely fascinating. Three very faint satellites. One from the upper right heading down toward center to the lower left. At the same time one coming up from lower right and to uh, the center right from uh, more or less center. They almost crossed in the middle. It's a beautiful little pass and super easy to miss because so faint. Now, you would think it's over because the light's creeping into the sky, but no, we gotta have one last, right? Interesting how late into the morning you can go with this. It would still seem dark to a person standing out there, but the camera is already starting to get flooded with dawn light. And there it is, very slowly creeping along. This is in real time. No acceleration. It was pretty much over at this point, so I didn't care. And just a faint dot of light moving along very slowly. And here we are at the end. Only a couple faint stars showing now. Those will soon be gone. There's a pair of birds for you there. Notice uh, the streaks on their tails. That's because the frame rate is still fairly low at this point and uh, the denoiser really shows off its uh, artifacts there. Uh, that goes away in, in full daylight once the frame rate speeds all the way up but in low light it will still be evident. And that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Please in the comment section feel free to ask any questions you would like. Be nice. Other than that, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. And please out there stay safe. Be in the end times and all. <laughs> However you choose to see this insanity in the world. Uh, please do stay safe uh, and stay healthy. And take care. Thank you for watching.